what is Ripple XRP's value proposition? Is Ripple XRP just going to be a method to transfer money? Is it going to be a store of value or could it be a payment service? So welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco here and in today's video it's going to be a very frank video. I was going to do a live video and have a discussion with you guys but I'd just like to talk about what is Ripple XRP's value. Um, there's always arguments on Ripple Ripple XRP is better than Bitcoin, is the best cryptocurrency, is the fastest cryptocurrency and talks about partnership that is de maybe decentralized or centralized and talks about problem with Bitcoin, problems with um, XRP. There's always these talks going on and kind of fighting going on. I'll be honest, I am invested heavily in XRP. I do like XRP. I'm not as a mad fan as some of the other people that talk about XRP to 589. Again, I might be wrong. It can happen. This is not financial advice. This is just my thoughts on Ripple XRP. And you should do your own research before you invest your money. I'm more of a technical analyst, as you can see from my videos um, and then my tweets and my charts that I've been posting. I do technical analysis and you can see my profits on my trades and how they've been working because I do post them before um, I act, before, I, before they, when I take the trades and you can see if they're profitable or not going back the time frame. And I don't, again, I'm not charging you anything to any guys. I, I, I do some mentoring. You can email me for that, but I'm not selling any courses this is purely sharing my thoughts and interacting with the ripple xrp community so i'll be you you can watch many videos of people talking about ripple xrp going to a hundred dollar going to ten dollars or uh, changing the world i'm gonna give you a very honest opinion of what my thoughts are and please do watch this video if you are invested in ripple xrp because it can give you a different perspective to some of the other kind of maybe bias Ripple XRP perspective you get. I'll try my best to give you an honest opinion. So let's actually start with a positive news um, article about Ripple. So Ripple execs say proof of work doesn't work. XRP is solving Bitcoin's problem. And he explained the policy uncertainty has limited cryptocurrency adoption. This is the new challenge the digital asset industry is facing. And I maybe agree with him that yeah, mining can actually make it complicated. And when it, with private keys, if 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 it's difficult to use cryptocurrency, it will it won't be easy to convert people into using it. The the usage and and then the learning curve needs to be easy and simple for the general public to adopt. So maybe mining makes it difficult and yes 80% of the mining of Bitcoin is controlled by six mining pool five are located in China is that a good thing no that is not a good thing I'd want it spread out but that is not the case so he's talking about XRP doesn't depend on mining XRP is consuming less electricity than Visa XRP already scales 1500 transactions so these are all positives for XRP I agree mm. But if you look on the other side, if it's not mining, someone has just created money and just printed out money. I know there's not going to be um, this some held in escrow and they'll be released. Um, but someone just has literally printed money and gave them out. So how is that different to kind of Fed printing money? Again, it's not the same thing, but just think about it. Someone just literally printed money. Uh, Bitcoin, again, you could argue that as well, but Bitcoin still had to be mined. So that's the thought on XRP that I don't necessarily like. And again, these are just my thoughts, guys. Again, I, this is very off the cuff. I haven't planned it. Some of the articles I've seen, I just wanted to share my thoughts with you guys in, in a 10, 15 minute video. And hopefully it will give us a topic of discussion in the next video or in the comment section below so that's that was another negative point if you want to look at it in other sense again um, di uh, diversify and invest in XRP if you are a Bitcoin maximalist think about some of the positives for XRP it has got, got some um, Rip, especially Ripple is a great company if I could buy shares in a Ripple company I definitely will and that's another negative that I'll come to in a bit um, this article then there's another comment talking about XRP the 100 richest addresses own 79% of all XRP so in a way although Bitcoin mining power is 80 <coughs> excuse me I'm losing my voice here and 80 percent of my mining of Bitcoin controlled by six mining pools you can see that over 80 percent is controlled by 100 XRP addresses and some of them could be owned by 
one more than one address could be owned by one person so again it's not it's not great in either sense it's not really decentralized as much as i would have liked this person is talking about xrp a better bet than bitcoin despite centralization and they talk about um xrp central is, is centralized and some people talk xrp is not a cryptocurrency and to me that's kind of i don't like talking about it because the main thing is what thing are we solving what are we trying to solve we're trying to solve this decentralization improve security and also we want quick and we want it to be fast and these three kind of spectrum is to achieve all three things of decentralization um adoptability or or the transaction speed with security is quite difficult to achieve and that is the problem that everyone is trying to achieve and in a way bitcoin falls short uh, xrp falls short as well because ripple uh, having ripple behind it in its purest sense bitcoin is definitely more decentralized than xrp but the fact is one country controls most of the bitcoin supply and mining and could essentially wrap it all up this is worrying xrp is a great bet for mainstream growth has he got a point he definitely has and that is what i said that is kind of why i like ripple and xrp ripple is solving a cross-border payments problem and that the value of any digital asset will be based on its ability to solve problem and if ripple is so ripple is definitely solving a problem but how does xrp work in the ripple ecosystem yes banks might even use xrp in the background but does it actually increase the value of xrp so what puzzles me though is how xrp owners can hope to profit from ripple's long term trajectory so in a whole in fact a whole new set of tokens will be issued for each fiat much like gold trust fund issues for shares of gold this process is called tokenization and bypass the need to use xrp token in the first place again this is like a red mark it's kind of like when we talk about if china miners wants to destroy bitcoin could xrp be destroyed in the long term well it would be relatively trivial task for governments to shut down xrp but you can talk, i wouldn't say that's necessarily just xrp uh, governments would, could probably shut down any even the privacy coins are they really private i do like monero uh, I, I, i've looked i've delved deep into the kind of uh, from my understanding of the how monero works and it, from a privacy point of view it's a, it's a lot better than some of the other privacy coins i've looked into so that that's not necessarily for xrp it could shut down any bitcoin or, or it could shut down anything in fact it's safe to say that, that banning decentralized cryptocurrency would be almost impossible but ripple is anything but decentralized that is also correct that yes you could probably ban ripple xrp a bit quicker than some of the other currencies Bitcoin and XRP are not needed to solve global payment problems but see who who that's written from PayPal CEO again I'm a massive massive cryptocurrency bitcoin and even a ripple XRP fan I talk about XRP a lot in my videos but I'm just trying to be honest and give you both side of the coin when you're investing you need to listen to both positives and negatives that's what I said if you're just listening to crazy predictions of XRP going to $100 $500 please listen to me as well and just listen to my thoughts no I think the problem statement is correct one of the things people love about bitcoin or xrp is look how difficult it is to get money from one country across to border to another slow it's expensive it's all those things you don't need bitcoin you don't need xrp you don't need any of them to solve the problem what you need is faster networks but if xrp and ripple can uh, provide that but my question is yes ripple could be providing a better service but how does xrp come into play as well there are 200 places you can use it worldwide there's plenty of people using it inter internationally seagate technologies use it to move money between international subsidiaries and ripple is being tested and xrp is being tested as well so you can't i don't really see that as a negative for xrp you look at oil speculation to use cases about 96 to 1 bitcoin is 2.5 to 1 so the speculation increases the volatility will decrease just like every commodity and every currency out there and this is kelly i don't is he from kelly from cnbc i'm not a huge fan of him if it is that guy um 
sorry i haven't checked this article it's just some of the good points i've seen from the articles i've been listening reading just want to share with you guys this is from a ripple coin news so you you have to be careful a regulatory uncertainty is a problem behind xrp's growth and that is 100 percent correct that is an issue with xrp uh, sec came out and said bitcoin i think i tweeted it, it was a while back uh, came out and said XRP, um, Bitcoin and Ethereum are not securities, but they haven't come out and said XRP is not security. If they come out and say that, guys, I can see XRP price shooting up. Um, it could potentially hit anywhere, maybe even fifty dollars again. We might see that, and I do, I do believe it can happen easily. Uh, you, you saw that spike. Could we even hit a dollar? Um, I'd say so. You could easily hit a dollar within a month if if they come out and say that. And XRP is one of the hot, the, one of the coins with the biggest hype. Grouping or giving clarity to those ones that are similar to Bitcoin and Ethereum that have same char characteristics should classify in the same way. We need to have a level playing field for XRP so the market can pick which one they want to use. So even without this uncertainty, XRP is second. Um, uh, on the list so it just shows how xrp is doing on a on a price level but price level basis and yes if um it, it is confirmed i can see it going up to i mean i haven't got my fib levels drawn but yeah it could potentially hit over one dollar that would be my target it could definitely hit around that dollar mark um, expectations in Ripple and XRP to become a payment processor will lead to loss of investment. This is another an interesting thought. Jason, just listen to this. I totally agree with you that ten, in 10 years, people are not going to care what crypto is under the hood. The irony being there is a good chance that in 10 years, payment made is done through Ripple. Very strong trust. You wouldn't know it's used by XRP. No, it won't. The chances of it being another crypto like Ethereum, LTC, XMR are not like zero like Ripple but a tiny function above zero. Let's call it a very small percentage chance but free. feel free to lose all your money on this expectation. So yes, it's quite interesting. But Tony Vase is it like I see, he's a massive Bitcoin fan, um, and he's he bashes XRP quite a bit. Other people stepped in to defend Bitcoin. One user said, "You do not understand the XRPs. That's another thing. The supply of XRP is a lot higher, um, and Bitcoin is is kind of." Uh, barred it can't get over that much so about 60% of XRP is on by Ripple that's something that I do not like guys I've always talked about it well, this is an interesting tweet that he retweeted yes I'm missing something yes you have XRP Logan believe in XRP therefore you are missing but not limited to a IQ Bitcoin value proposition money economy but yeah he's a knowledgeable guy we have to listen to his point and I, I do understand this point but you could diversify and be invested in xrp mm -hmm. but if you are invested in xrp and believe in it you, again just be careful guys these are re really really risky investment very risky investment investment and trading is risky anyway but investing in this is even more more dangerous from a long-term perspective guys it's difficult to predict where we are if you believe in xrp i'd say if you think it's going to go really higher up it's, it's not the best time to sell because even long term it doesn't do well well, it, it, the price drop is still a massive drop, but if you're not a trader, you shouldn't be selling at these levels. It's like buying high and selling low, which is the number one mistake in uh, investing or one of the mistakes in investing. So I wouldn't look to sell uh, in the short term price action. I mean, I made a video about Bitcoin breaking out uh, in two days that was posted on the 17th. Um, that was two days ago. If you look at the Bitcoin price now, it has broken out of that channel that I talked about and hopefully it can stay above it. For XRP though, guys, this is a key resistance that it broke out of. I am Again, I've actually bought some XRP here because I think it will give me some sort of a bounce. It's a good place to buy XRP, I think. It's got key resistance level and have your stops underneath here. And if you want to play it safe, you could have it even lower. But targeting kind of this level where it was above there is a decent level to target. And you could potentially make some money in this trade. But again, please do your own research. I'm just sharing my own thoughts. Another thing I talked about was um, XRP BTC is in a downward trend. Um, 
it had a massive up move we saw it and um, now it's consolidating so probably not the best time to be holding xrp i talked about sell btc and buy xrp a few times um I've, uh, where did i get in there should be a where i think i got in yeah i got in around that price um, and that was a nice little rider took some good money from it but xrp btc is going down now it is in a downward trend um, on a shorter time frame but still again if it stays above it you could have another bounce up longer time frame it is in an uptrend but shorter time frame if you look at it it is not looking as pretty so guys that's just a video again just sharing my thoughts here don't attack me i'm just being honest and sharing my thoughts with you i'd love to hear your thoughts it's just an off the cuff video i wanted to do a live stream but i'm not sure i'm not really sure i've not done a live stream on youtube before so thank you very much for watching this video guys it's a slightly longer video i hope you've enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions or want some mentoring or um, some ad free advice just email me guys I'll try and help you out my email address is below uh, or comment on Facebook or get, get back to me on Twitter if you want to win $250 worth of XRP guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button if you learned something from this video guys turn on the notification button helps me out massively guys on the algo and stuff i don't really know about marketing i know about my trading i'm not the biggest marketer out there so thank you very much guys i hope you've enjoyed that video smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much